and I seen this bloke and he stood here. He said, if you had any money, no, I said, I've no money for you. Get away from my door and stay away from it. And Sarah's not afraid of anything, but she got an awful fright with this. Three murders, she could have been the fourth one. Only her neighbour across the road came out and helped her. So another neighbour heard her shouting and she went over to her flash. And that fella said to the woman that Hello, went over to that flash, he said, I'll burn you. He says, you get away, I'll burn you out of here. I'll come back and burn you out of here. Robinson's Court has just been subjected to major criminal activity accumulating over the years and actually three murders of our seniors and all over the years there's been issues but in the last 10 days there's been guys breaking into homes, threatening, asking for money, telling them they were coming back to kill them and that's happened twice in the last two weeks to two different women in this complex. You're never safe here. I got people trying to open my window at night time. You pull the window open. Right, try to take stuff from inside. That camera there caught the murder and caught him coming in, going out, dropping the murder weapon on the corner there. And there was another two murders, two people at the end there. You know, so <laughs> you're never safe here. Nobody's safe here. If you stand out at the entrance looking in here, you can't see anything. You could be in here doing whatever you want to do, nobody can see it from the road. There's no excuse for not putting the gate up. How much is Sarah's life worth? And the other three people that were murdered, what are their lives worth? The government have 10 billion of the surplus now. How much will it cost to put a gate up in the front?